In our today's emergency medicine lecture, our topic of discussion will be the management of constipation. Most of the time constipation is not considered as an emergency uh, condition but as we will discuss our topic you will see that there are so many conditions that cause constipation and that needs to be managed in emergency and if we do not manage them in emergency then it can cause very very serious consequences. So first we will discuss in the beginning about the Rome criteria, what's the Rome criteria and what are three different uh, uh, factors that are considered in the Rome criteria. Then as we will go further we will talk about some anatomic essentials. For the constipation two anatomic essentials play an important role. One is the transit in the colon and the transit time, the movement time of the uh, uh, waste product through the colon and what are the different factors that influence that transit time and then in the second part we will discuss about the defecation process and again what are the factors that involve in the defecation process. Then we will talk about the abnormal bowel function. And to know that this is the abnormal bowel function, we should know first about the uh, normal bowel function. So we will discuss both the abnormal and the normal bowel function. And really very important to find out the abnormal bowel function, we should first know the normal bowel function. Then we will talk about some uh, red flags, red flags which are the warning signs that we should be paying attention. Uh, to find out that this patient might have a predisposition for developing constipation or might have the constipation due to different factors which are involved. Then we will discuss the important points in the history which are important to know to find out the uh, cause of constipation and what are the different factors associated. Then in the next uh, uh, section we will discuss also about the physical examination. What are the findings on the examination of the patient who present with the constipation? Again depending on the cause of constipation the findings will be different if it is due to obstruction, perforation, uh, uh, cancer, malignancy we will uh, talk about different different findings depending on the cause of constipation. Then we will talk in detail about the differential diagnosis and what are the conditions that needs to be differentiated from constipation. We will discuss them in three separate parts, most common, uh, less common and then very less common or rare conditions which are considered in the differential diagnosis of constipation. Then diagnostic testing, testing is again on the lab testing and then radiologic testing is very very helpful in finding the causes like uh, uh, intersusception, Hirschsprung's disease, obstruction, perforation all these can be diagnosed easily on the x-ray so we will discuss those uh, diagnostic testing and then therapy we will talk about the uh, uh, minor cases, moderate cases and severe cases of constipation and how we manage and treat them according to the severity of the condition. So all that we will discuss in our today's topic and it's very very interesting topic. Uh, keep watching uh, this uh, lecture to uh, learn about constipation and besides this we have thousands of lectures available on our website which you can access by uh, reaching the scardia.com and uh, uh, there is also free trial, trial available to access the lectures. Thanks for watching scardia.com.